My name is Jasmine, and this is Jasmine Diaries. I miss doing this. First of all, I still couldn't sleep. I think my body is still adjusting to the time zone. Second of all, I am currently in the Philippines. Yay! <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys the process or like the entire experience if you're a Filipino and you want to come home to the Philippines. In my case, I came home to the Philippines because I finished my contract and my job and I no longer want to renew because I felt like I haven't been home for a very long time, specifically five years and more. So I decided to come home. The plan is to stay here for good, but we'll see what happens. I just want to open up this vlog thanking the Philippine government and all that our government has done for us Filipinos, especially the overseas Philippine workers. It is not easy to get home, especially during pandemic. So this whole video, I will be explaining to you and sharing with you the experience of going home from whichever country you're coming from. In my case, I came from Oman and coming home to the Philippines. Currently that I'm doing this video, I am already in the hotel room where I am being isolated or we call it quarantined because I came from an overseas country. It's like mandatory for everyone coming from other countries. So when you re reach the Philippines, you're gonna have to undergo these process. I mean, I don't think it's only the Philippines, but most of the countries all over the world is doing the same thing. So for us Filipinos, first off, you're gonna have to secure your plane ticket. In my case, I booked my ticket po sa Etihad Airlines. I booked the ticket, but I'm gonna have a layover in Abu Dhabi. So my flight will be from Oman, and then I'm gonna stop or have a layover in Abu Dhabi. And then from Abu Dhabi, that will be your flight finally to the Philippines. If you are planning to come home, you have to check on the airline that you book your ticket with because some of the airlines are requiring you to have a PCR test. When you say PCR test, it's a COVID-19 test. So in my case, I booked in Etihad. Etihad will require us to take the PCR test from the point of destination coming to the point of arrival or the layover. Um, so since we are having a layover sa Abu Dhabi, kailangan nilang um, ma-assure that we are negative. I took the PCR test in Oman, um, specifically in Muscat International Airport. They have a drive through service. You're just gonna have to pay 19 reals and you're just gonna have to register online. Technically, mas mura siya compared to other clinics or other uh, laboratories doing the COVID test. Kasi mostly, I think they are asking for 50 reals, five zero. You get the results within 24 hours. So what I did, ang flight ko ay October 27. I did my swab test or my PCR test on October 26. So after 24 hours, nakuha ko na yung result ko. And that's what you need for your flight. On October 27, I already have my result. Then you go to check-in. Um, in the airport. Technically, in the airport. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You're going to bring your PCR test. You're going to be. You're going to bring your um, ticket. You're going to bring your passport. It's a must. You should have your passport, of course. And if you're a Filipino who is traveling for vacation it's fine you can just go to the airport and check in directly but if you're a filipino and you are um, leaving for good or if you want to be canceled by your sponsor make sure po nasasama yung amo niyo when you go to the airport because they're gonna have to sign some papers that you will be canceled or like clear yung alis niyo so everything was fine and i got checked in so Upon check in, they're gonna ask for that paper again, the PCR test. Na, you know, that, that you did the PCR test and negative. So that's 
it. And then you're gonna have your boarding pass at pupunta ka na sa iyong gate of assigned gate or destination or whatever. <laughs> also, upon boarding the airplane, they are also gonna look for the paper. So make sure that you have your PCR test always handy with you. Isama mo siya sa passport mo as much as possible together with your um, boarding pass. Kasi always nilang chinicheck yun. To make sure that you are negative. I mean, with the COVID test and everything. When you arrive at the airport sa Abu Dhabi, um, Etihad will be the one to handle all the, all the baggage, luggages. Yeah baggage or anything na naka check in sa baggage mo they will be the one to transfer it to the plane kasi from Oman to Abu Dhabi and then Abu Dhabi to the Philippines wala ka na pong iintindihin all you have to do when you get to Abu Dhabi airport you're just gonna have to look for the gates kung saan mag ka for your plane going to the Philippines oh make sure to bring a ball pen at all times make sure you have your pen available Kasi from Muscat to Abu Dhabi and from Abu Dhabi to Philippines, you will have to sign or fill up a lot of papers. So this is some sort of a protocol for them because they're going to need a lot of information from you. Just make sure you have your pen ready on all times. There are um, websites or online registrations that were circulated on social media na kapag uuwi ka daw, you're gonna have to register through this, that, blah, 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 blah. Well, in my case, I did that. Nag-register na po ako online. I did on Bureau of Quarantine. I did register on Red Cross. I did register on OWA. Um, yeah, I think that's all the three online registration that I did. However, pagdating niyo po ng Pilipinas, it didn't really matter kung nag-register ka online or not. The moment that you step out of the airplane, pagkababa na pagkababa mo ng aeroplano, the Philippine Coast Guard are there. Tuturuan ka nila where to go, kung saan ka dadaan, what steps to do, and like, even as simple as pag-connect sa Wi-Fi, they are on it. Like, you are well taken care of. Walang wala po kayo talagang alalahanin. As long as you have your ball pen with you, you are totally fine. When we reached the uh, airport in Naiya, so we, we landed at Naiya International Airport Terminal 3, the Coast Guard guided us to the OWA where there is um, a queue. Pero hindi kami nakapila guys, okay? We were seated. Na we're gonna have to sign in to the Wi-Fi and then they're gonna give you this um, red, uh, online website where you need to register I forgot it's um, I think Balik Pinas I don't remember exactly what it is but they will give it to you don't worry tutuan ka nila then you're gonna have to register after registration may makukuha kang isang QR code that QR code yun ang ipapakita mo on the booth so once you're done igaguide ka ulit ng Coast Guard dadalhin ka sa isang booth ng OWA where they will give you um, like a barcode or it's going to be like your sort of identification number kung pang ilan ka and it's gonna be your identity into your swab test, into your passport, into the immigration, into OWA. So yun, um, easy, easy peasy, wala kang gagawin. You just have to show them the QR code and they will do the rest. After registering in OWA, they will guide you papunta sa swab test area wherein they will take samples from you for the swab test. They will take swab from both of your nose. Both of your nose? No, I mean like both. <laughs> both nostrils and sa lalamunan. They will do those for your swab test. So it's kind of stings but it's fine. Hindi siya ganun kakasakit. It's tolerable. The Coast Guard will guide you again papuntang OWA where they are going to get your information. You're gonna fill up a paper and then they will give you your hotel. Yeah, they'll give you a paper kung saan hotel ka. Then you go grab your luggages, yung mga naka-check-in mo. You bring it with you and you go outside 
of the airport. Um, in my case, I was directed to gate 5. And then paglabas mo, Philippine Coast Guard are also there waiting for you. And they will ask you kung anong hotel ka. Because technically everything is well prepared and well organized. The moment you get out of the airport, hindi ka blanco. They will ask you what hotel you will be assigned to at ihahatid ka nila doon. There is a specific um, bus for every hotel. So in my case, I was assigned in Aksia, Aksia, Aksia Hotel, Manila. Sorry, I am from Davao, so I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but it's Aksia Hotel, Manila. So there is a bus um, that's waiting for us outside the airport, and it they do follow social distancing. Like the seat on the bus, you're gonna have to be alone, one seat apart. So it's like, I think the bus has a cap capacity of 70 people, but we were only 25 people in the bus. Like, if you could imagine how much the government has worked their asses for this. It's, it's just so amazing. Kudos. And mind you guys, from the very beginning when you stepped into the airport, everything is taken care of for free. And then when you get to the hotel, they're gonna have to check you in. May meron ka lang konting pipirmahan na papel. And then they will assign you to the rooms. They're, they will give you your key card. And when you reach your hotel room, that's it. You're basically having the quarantine of your life. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not as boring as you think it is because it depends on you and how you're gonna handle the situation being alone in the room but in my case like being an OFW where all you think about is work like technically you go to other places to other countries to work and then you finally get home to get some rest and think about nothing no plans and just wait for your swab result you are having an amazing day I guess yeah by the way while you are in your hotel room um, they are serving the food specifically in Aksha hotel they will give you this paper oh sorry this one but they will give you a paper where there is a house rules included and they're gonna serve you your breakfast at 8 lunch at 12 and um, dinner at 6 so, uulitin ko po, guys, ulit. This is free. You're not gonna pay for anything. It's totally free. For those who wants to know kung ilang araw ka magsistay sa hotel, it's basically depending on the result of your swab test. I mean, the result is expected to be delivered within 3 to 5 days. So, within that duration, you're gonna have to stay in your hotel room until lumabas yung result mo. Once you get your result at lumabas siya ng negative, the OWA or the people from OWA susunduin ka kung saan hotel ka man naka-assign the certificate or the result will be emailed to you so as soon as you get your result you inform the front desk of the hotel para ma-prepare nila yung, yung check out but guys, like I said, wala kang babayaran you're not gonna think of anything so once you're check out of the hotel susunduin ka ng OWA and if you are from different provinces, I think they're gonna bring you back to the airport. In my case, I am from Davao City or from Davao. So after this entire quarantine, if I get my result and it says negative, so sundo inila ako and they will bring me to the airport. They will book me a flight going back to Davao. And again, it's free. Uulitin ko, libre. You're not gonna pay for anything. But if your test result shows up that you're positive, so sundin ka pa rin nila, but I think they're going to bring you to the quarantine facility or Bureau of Quarantine will handle everything. That's what I think it's gonna happen. But mostly, yeah, that's it. I mean, in my case, I am in quarantine. Let me just have you see the place. <laughs> I'll show you the hotel room, okay? So to start with, I am showing you the mirror just because I just thought it would be nice. 
This is a huge mirror when you get into the hotel. Okay, for a moment. This is where the main door of your room is. So when you get inside, on your right, there is a rack for your clothes. Um, yep, in my case, I put my luggage in there. Opposite of that, you have the bathroom. So this is the bathroom and the toilet and this is the towel and that's me hi so there's the bathroom and the mirror that i showed you earlier hello you have two chairs and a table where you can eat or lounge or whatever you want to do you have the tv right up front and yeah but I don't, I, I, I don't remember watching the TV the moment I reached the hotel because I, all I did was sleep. <laughs> Here, oh, this does not come with the hotel. This is my guitar. I had it hand carried. So yeah, but bored no bored na ho and sleeping is not enough. I could play that. And you get your bed. There's your bed. It may not be as fancy as you could imagine it to be, but for me, this is more than enough. Like, I'm not paying for this, and this is what I get. Like, <laughs> it's too much to think about. So you have two little tables in there, and then you say, in this area, you get a plug where you can plug USB or like a multiple, I don't know, plug. You get your telephone um and down the other side get another table in here here i put a few of the papers um sorry it's kind of messy but yeah that's me i got a book just in case i'm inspired to read but i am so not inspired at all i got my notebook which i wanted to write something but it never happened and i got some stops these are my medicines and my maintenance because your girl has hypertension and she's got anxiety and she's depressed and shit so i got all the medicines that i need in here oh by the way this bag i just took it from the hat <laughs> anyway so yeah that's basically the room um yeah that's it i do have a little window here like you could peep on it but um it's currently i think 3 a.m that i'm filming this so you're not gonna see anything anyway and oh by the way let me show you how it looks outside because when you're in quarantine you are not allowed to go out of the hotel you are basically staying inside for all who cares <laughs> um if they deliver your food i'm gonna show you how it looks like so they're just gonna ring the doorbell, ding dong. And then when you open it, there's this chair in here. So I'm just gonna put the food and it's all the same. All the other rooms have their chairs too, waiting outside. So the food will be placed right there. Yeah, so that's about it and you're not to go you're not allowed to go outside not until you get your results so yeah i think that's basically it i feel like <laughs> so for the rest of the day i'm gonna be probably sleeping in here lounging or whatever so yeah i guess that should be it anyway i'll be writing down all the things in the description below if you want to know anything or if things weren't clear please do leave me a comment lala na dun sa mga pinoy na uwi for the sake of of coming home to your family or on vacation or things like that i'm gonna try to answer as much as i can which is also based only to the experience that i had so yeah i think that's it i hope this video has been helpful and yeah. Bye, guys.